Oh, what's up, Leon gang? Uh, 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 let's get it. Uh, I was looking back at the footage of this video that you're watching right now, and I didn't really get much of a chance to explain what happened, so I'm just gonna do a little recap of the call, what the situation was going into it. We got a call for the fridge not working, obviously, it was a bar fridge, and we had a technician go in previously, check for leaks, all that good stuff, and he found that the compressor was seized. So since the compressor was seized, we had to order the compressor, and once it came in, I went with the old man, and then we went to go slap that in. And I've never soldered copper before, so it was my first copper soldering job, so obviously we had to prepare it, all safety stuff, all that good stuff. I've soldered in the past, like lead, nickel, whatever, but it's a lot different soldering copper because of the high temperatures that are required for soldering copper. You need like, I think it's 12 or 1400 degrees Fahrenheit. And since it's copper on copper, you gotta make sure that you're not overheating the copper piping because if you overheat it, then you're just gonna melt the pipe and then you drop the garbage. Enjoy the video. Bah. So the reason we change this point is we're running through both of them like this. So we're cleaning it so that the air flow can go through and show the unit.
Ricky. Everything working good. Getting nice. 